Hello everyone, today I am launching a tool that lets you make pencils, hexagonal pencils, and in this video I'm going to show you how the tool works, how to use it. The first step in making a pencil with my jig is to make a blank that is half inch by three eighths inch by eight inches long. And I have a setup blank that I just use to quickly set the table saw up to make the first two cuts for three eighths and half inch. Next I use this router bit that does come with the set to make two half circle cuts in the 3 8 inch length of the blank. Uh, before I do this I use some scrap just to make sure it's set perfectly to cut a half circle so when those two come together it's going to be a perfect circle to hold the lead. So it's a little bit fiddly but take your time and get this right uh, and definitely if you have it set up and want to make several pencils then don't mess with the setup between them. And it doesn't matter if that cut isn't perfectly positioned in the center of the 3 8 inch length, that will be taken care of when we cut the hex shape. Next I cut the blank down to 8 inches and rip down the center of the 1 half inch side to separate the two pieces with the router bit cuts in them. And then these two halves get glued together with the lead inside. Now of course I've used up all my lead screwing around with this, so when it came time to make this instruction video, I only have broken pieces of lead. Um, you won't have to deal with this. You'll have nice full lengths of lead. Now it's time to load up the blank and cut the hex shape. Uh, so when you put this in, make sure that the knives on the headstock aren't lined up perfectly with the glue line because you could tend to crack it back open if you do that. Uh, and only relatively light pressure on the tailstock to secure the blank in place, that's all that should be necessary. Then use a block plane to establish a flat face on the pencil blank and once it's bottomed out on the two sides on the wood runners and you can't cut any more off the pencil, that face is finished and it's time to rotate the headstock. Just turn it until it engages in the next detent, always going counterclockwise so we don't loosen the threads on the tailstock and then do it five more times And then your pencil is just about done. The hexagon should be centered on the lead very well because of the way the jig holds the blank. And once you get proficient with this, it doesn't really take all that much time to cut the six faces. It should be able to be done in about five minutes. Now for the end of the pencil you have the option of using these caps that I'm selling with some of the backer levels. I plan on selling erasers too, but for the Indiegogo it's just a little too complicated, so I'm keeping it simple. But you always have the option of just doing something on your own. Here I'm gluing a piece of ebony to the back of the pencil, and that turned out to look pretty cool. So there are a few more videos out today on this topic to tell you more about this tool. In this one, I tell you about the long journey of actually developing this and all the things I went through over the last couple years uh, in order to get to this design. Uh, and in this video, I show you how I make a really cool pencil uh, out of colored pencils. So check those out. Also check out this video. Uh, David Picciuto is helping me get the word out about this. Uh, and check out his video on his experience using the tool. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye. <sighs>